Some days I win. Some days I don't. But each and every day, I get back up and I move forward with my fist clenched toward the battle, toward the struggle. And I fight with everything I've got to overcome those weaknesses and those shortfalls and those flaws. As I strive to be just a little bit better today than I was yesterday. Where is the wealthiest place in the world? Do you know? It's not China. It's not Dubai. It's the graveyard. Because in the graveyard, you will find inventions never invented. Businesses never erected. Songs never sung. Books never written. Ideas never nurtured. People never realized. Because they were scared to take a risk. Scared like you. But you want to know something else? You're not in a graveyard yet. That's the thing. Success and failure are generally slow processes. Either slowly building things up or gradually tearing them down. And that's why I say you've got to pay attention. You have to watch. You have to watch every single second. Because those seconds, they turn into minutes. And minutes turn into hours, and hours turn into days, and days turn into years. And so, that second, that second that just went by, that counted. And so did that second. And so did that one. And in those precious seconds, you were either building or you were decaying. You were either gaining ground or you were losing ground in that second and in every second every second counts so make every second count if somebody ever told you you only live once they a damn lie you only die once live every day. Get up and get it. Helen Keller was once asked, what on earth will be worse than being born blind? She said, it would be so much worse to be born with sight, but no vision. Why can't we have cures for every disease known to man? Why can't we have clean water, food, education for every person on this planet? Why can't we have peace on this planet? Why do we have to die to go to heaven? The earth is already in space. We can have heaven right here, right now. Just a shift in this. Why not? It tests you. It tests you. It's you know, how much is this you can take before you say, let's just, just be finished with this. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It wants to show you something. It wants to see how much you can take, how much you can handle of life. You say you love life, you want to live life. I'm going to show you life. Life is beautiful, but you have to accept the good and the bad as being beautiful. We lose some of our life sucks. Life is beautiful because life gave us the ability to just know them on our journey in life. We met them. We loved them. We cared about them. They cared about us. That's, that's the purpose of life, just to enjoy what we had while we journeyed through it. People don't care about you as much as you think they do. Massive amounts of people leave greatness inside of them out of fear of what others will think. You know, and I did that for a very long time. It took me a while to get to the point where I would put myself out there, all out of fear of what people think. When you come out of the storm, you won't be the same person that walked into it. That's what the storm is all about. 
When you can't control what's happening to you, control how you respond to it. That's where your power is. This is why thinking is so vital. This is why a goal is so important. Because we will become that. This is why people who set goals achieve them. The trouble with men is not in achieving their goals. They do that. It's in establishing them. Well, that's about it. I think it's good to remember that if we just go along with the crowd, we won't wind up with much more than the wish that we could do it all over again. And as far as we know, you can't. If we want to amount to anything as individuals, we need individual goals, individual thinking, individual actions. And we must never conform to the big group. We must love them. We must help them. We must serve them because our whole success will depend on our ability to do these things. Because sometimes we don't understand, like, what is this thing? What is my purpose? Why am I here? Why do I have to go through this pain? Why do I have to go through this fear all the time?